Hello there, I'm here to help with your installation of the hidden camera USB charger. USB charger, tiny little hidden camera right there. Alright, so let's do this together. It doesn't need a battery, it doesn't need a power cable because it's got the charging right there. You plug it into a plug in. It's got a micro USB, no, micro SD card slot right here. So if you want to put a card in there, you can. Doesn't need one. Uh, so let's go plug this into the wall. Oh, I should show you also on the side. There's two holes. These are the light and the reset button. There's a little pin in this bag, comes with the kit. The little pin there is for pushing the reset button. If we have any problems during the installation of this, we're going to press the reset button. Uh, the light is going to turn pink while we're pressing the reset button. It'll flash once and we can re let it go. Light will go red again. Okay, so red is normal operating color. Let's go plug this into the wall and then we'll get started in the app. All right, so the app looks like this. Look Cam Pro, it's available in the Google Play Store and in the Apple App Store. All right, we're gonna open it up. And of course we want to add a new camera. Click on that. At any point during this, you can pause if I'm going too fast for you. I don't wanna to go too fast, so I'm gonna to try to slow down and talk a little more. That's not usually a problem for me. Mode one is what we want. Method one, it's called in the Apple. The screen looks exactly the same in the Apple. It's the first option. And this is to connect our phone to the camera that we've just plugged into the wall. Okay, so Go Wi-Fi configuration actually takes us out of the app and is gonna take us to our Wi-Fi. So now it's going to list all my Wi-Fi's. The one I'm connected to is my router Wi-Fi and the camera. The camera is sending out a little Wi-Fi signal. TUT are the first three numbers of it. That's going to be the same on yours. The other numbers and letters are, will be different. But let's connect to the TUT Wi-Fi. This is connecting our phone to the little camera. So it's good if you're standing pretty close to that camera. I'm about 10 feet away. I'm not so close. And it's good if your camera is pretty close to your router during the setup process as well. The closer the better. I would say my camera is plugged in about 10 feet away from my router, so it's not super critical. Okay, so now I'm connected. No internet, it says. That's normal. There's no internet on that camera. Your Android may give you a little warning and tell you that there's no internet. We don't care. Okay, so let's go back to the app. And at this point, a lot of times it does this automatically. If not, you can just hit the back button in the top corner. Most of the time it does this automatically. Do you want to connect to a network. Sure, of course I do want to connect to the network. Now I'm connecting the camera to my router. This is the most important part. Many people stop after they get the first part done and think that they're finished. They're not. We still need to connect to the router. Now, as I mentioned, I had two Wi-Fi signals. Only one shows up here. Only the 2.4 gigahertz band is going to show up here. So that's the one you're going to have to choose. That's my 2.4 gigahertz and you need to know your Wi-Fi password. This is your Wi-Fi password for your router. So when friends come over, what password do you give them to connect to your Wi-Fi? That's the password you need to enter here. And I'm not gonna show you my password, but I will just enter it because I can hit the little I to make sure I'm right. Okay, I entered it properly. Let's hit sure. And now it says online. If the little green word there says offline and it's gray. You can just click on this and it'll go online. Okay? See, oh, connecting. So that's not a problem, connecting, and then it'll go online. There, it's gone online. If you want to check on that, your Wi Fi here. Wi-Fi not connected. So that's my problem, is my Wi-Fi is not connected. Maybe I entered the password wrong. Let's go and try again. Lily is the best, is my Wi-Fi. Mine's all numbers, so it is a little complicated. I sometimes have chubby fingers. Not a problem. 
Okay, it says online. If you click on it, it should take you... Oh, it's connecting. Everything is in its own time here. It's not going to be right away instant, so we wait for it to connect. And once it says online, we can click on this, like there it is. Click on this, and it takes us to a live shot from the camera. That's a picture of the camera. Uh, depending on how your camera is positioned, you may need to flip it upside down because it was upside down, but now my shoes are on the ceiling, so it was right side up. Or side to side, you know, sometimes your plug-in is side to side, so it's got functionality in the app for all of those alterations um, for nighttime viewing, stuff like that. So there it is. That is the entire process. Now my phone Wi-Fi is actually connected back to my router. It's no longer connected to the camera. I can show you that. If I go back to my phone Wi-Fi, see I'm connected back to my home Wi-Fi again. So now my camera is not connected to my phone anymore. My camera is only connected to my router. And now that means no matter where I am with my phone, I can connect and see what's happening inside my home. So if there's any problems in any part of that process, you can use the little reset key, the little pin that comes with the kit and press the button on the side wait for the light to flash once and reset and then start over at the beginning and you should have no problems hooking this up and then if you have another one a second a third one I'm sure you bought more than one you want to plug one in at work you want to plug one in in the garage you can plug it in add it here same thing mode one go connect it to the Wi-Fi find that camera Amazing, amazing features.